Hey, welcome everybody. Today we'll be playing a game that I've used to play a long time ago. Um, it's called World Box. Hopefully that the sound's actually working on this. Let me go ahead and check. It looks like the sound's working. World Box, everybody. Okay. So the premise of this is just uh, kind of simple, it's basically just a god simulator, uh, so you can go ahead and see. I paid for the full version at mobile, mobile whenever it was only mobile, and when it came out on Steam I actually bought that one as well. So I am currently going to go ahead and stream this, although this world is a little bit small. Let's go ahead and, uh, well to show you how small it is, I mean just look at this. <laughs> And now it's Fallout. Okay, don't see many of that's going on. Let me go ahead and put it out real quick. I'll put it out as much as I can anyway. As you can go ahead and see, there's almost nothing left. But that's beside the point. I didn't care about this this one world anyways. What I do care about is generating a new world. So let's go ahead and start with that. Uh, new mode, magnetic field. Let me s remember if I can... Let me see if I can remember how to do this. Um, create new world. So we're going to go ahead and create a... Let's go ahead and create isle boring planes. They're very flat. Islands. Box, continent. Cheese, pancake, lasagna, lagoon. Is there some? I thought it was somebody behind me. <laughs> uh, world box, world in a box. Let's go for standard. Random shapes, let's bring it all that well to a 10. Uh, noise, main level, let's go ahead and put it at 6. Detail, 6. 6, random biomes, moves on. Center lake, nope. Round edges, nope. Square edges, no tree ring on low ground. Low ground. High ground. Hmm. Let's go for low ground. I never actually went ahead and did that. Um, let's go for iceberg. Let's go big or go home. Jim loves chickens, apparently. Let me go ahead and close Steam real quick. And let's see how much of my CPU is being used. Wow, this is like at a 40% already. Um, well, I guess with uh, Task Manager on, I mean, with Task Manager off, it will probably go back down to like a little bit of a more manageable level. But right now it's supposed to be chill. I mean, this is actually a really beautiful world. Oh, I zoomed in a little bit too much. Okay, first things first is dividing the land. Uh, the only reason I do this is because I like preserving biomes. And if I don't do this, then the biomes don't get preserved. So... Oh, good. I'm getting a phone call. Alright, everybody. Give me one second while I go ahead and mute myself to see what this is. Hello, this is James Smith with the IRS. <laughs> I am trying to bleach Frank Smith. I fucking hate them. But I managed to scare them off this time. Uh, usually, one of my go-tos is saying, like, you know, using my... The only one thing that I think I learned from McDonald's uh, is the... <clears throat> Hello, welcome to McDonald's Lake West. How can I help you? By the way, Lake West, I have no fucking clue what that is. I just say that. Oh, I like that. 
I, could, I guess that's what they meant. Okay, so now there's actually a border around this the place. And let me just go ahead and keep dividing the land real quick. Making sure that anything that can not be integrated is separated. Oh my god. There's a lot actually. Okay, and is that all? Uh, <laughs> uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. I'll leave it like that. Actually, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little bit fatter. Do, 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 do. Just a giant weird strip of land in the middle of the ocean. Whatever. Uh, it was an accident, but it can stay. Okay, the Great Desert is separated. Terrain seems to be separated. Okay, so now first things first is to try to play some humans and other civilizations. Okay, so what should I put every- I was about to say everybody in chat. Uh, that's kind of sad. I just looked at my thing and it's zero. Oh, uh, whatever. I like playing this game chill anyways. I got a new desk, by the way. I was a little bit late to stream because of that. Uh, actually, I really like it. It has these compartments right here as a door thing. Uh, it's more it more surface uh, area than my other one. It is a little bit more cramped in here because of it, but I can live with it if I have more area on my desk. And there was this one weird thing that it connected to the rest of the uh, desk, um, this circular thing, so I can have more space in my right side. The only bad thing about this part right here is the fact that it was like not connected at all, so it like kept uh, moving. And I was thinking about just having it, uh, kind of like dangling it, but no, I. Oh my fucking brain, I just saw uh, in this side right here, I didn't put it completely uh, correct when it comes to uh, censoring it to, uh, not censoring, having it line by line. So it's a little sticking out a little bit. I managed to find a uh, metal, uh, some metal piece and when I and some screws and I just went ahead and like, uh, no drills because I don't have a drill, but just, I do have a screwdriver. So I just went ahead and like force it in there and now have it, the both of them connected. So that's something at the very least. Now it doesn't like fall. It's not, I don't I have to be afraid of it falling down or anything. And I can actually lean a little, a little bit. Although I am a very. Oh god, my thing. Sorry, my was moving my trash can down there. I am a little bit of a fat guy, so I. <laughs> I am losing weight. And I hope I am actually. I was been working out. And hopefully it's not for, in, it's not for anything. Not eating the stuff that I like is not really sitting well with me but that's besides the point okay give me a second i am gonna freak out just a sec yeah, for a little bit while i move some stuff because right now my room is a mess i have all the stuff that was in my room stacked up on the top of my bed like some sort of shanka pile uh so i'm just i just went ahead and moved a little bit of stuff right here where i can go ahead and use it i might actually uh this uh, whole world box is actually a really chill thing, so it uh, doesn't really require my own input a lot of the time. Although I will go ahead and stay here. Obviously, I'm not gonna go ahead and ex. <laughs> I'm not gonna go ahead and do a uh, Hassan and just let it play and go and fuck off and do something else for the little bit of it. No offense to the guy. I mean. He might have well done something right, otherwise he wouldn't be too popular. But I like to actually go ahead and be here when I'm doing quote unquote content. Which, to be fair, is not even that good for my own sake, so if I left, it would be even worse. But I shouldn't judge. Uh, one thing I learned is when you go ahead and judge too much, you usually turn into the thing that you hate, or the thing that you're judging. You don't have to hate something to judge something, by the way. So, I might as well not judge, otherwise karma goes ahead and screws me up real good. It's happened before. Uh, 
Okay, so now that I have everything separated how I wanted it, uh, and I have the thing out of my out of the way. By the way, I actually did scrape my uh, toe real quick on this side of the table. It does hurt a little bit, but <clears throat> actually, it does hurt. It's starting to hurt a little bit more. Uh, that might be a problem in the future, but not for the me right now. That's an issue for future me. And although future me, uh, my current self hates a lot of the past stuff that my past me has done. Uh, I shouldn't focus on it. The why you focus on the what if I did something else different? Home would drive you insane. Okay, so we have wolves. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of <laughs> a couple of wolves down there. Uh, where should I go ahead and put? Humans. I mean, I'm not. Pl I play D and D. Where the fuck? What the hell am I doing? I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I, what I would do whenever I'm creating a world myself. Like, I actually, could use this as a D and D setting if I am ever it's desperate. If I ever actually want to go ahead and do um, something, I can just go ahead and put it in this generator and use this as a world map. It's not that bad. But there's always something fun about doing it yourself, you know, the whole line and drawing process. So, uh, with that being said, what I was going for that is that I am going to go ahead and uh, get my dice, which are up here. Instead of a Ferrero box. I do not know what the fer deal with Ferreros are. Like, I like the chocolate and everything, but every single time, I don't know why, when I was younger, I expected them to be like 50, like 20, 50 bucks for each box, considering how my aunts and, uh, and family acted, if you ate too many of them. But, like, what it was, like 10 bucks for like a big box of them? I don't know why they freaked out so much over it. Or maybe the price changed, and I'm just insane. I mean, saving money is fine and everything, but the way they freaked out, I thought that they would go bankrupt if I ate too many of them. Uh, oh well. I'm also putting my pencils right here. I have a sharpener. I like this desk. I actually didn't go ahead and buy it or anything, because I my uncle would be proud. Uh, he, I actually found it, somebody was moving out of the apartment building and they were throwing this thing away, so I just went ahead and uh, fixed it up, cleaned it up, and go ahead and use it now. And hopefully it doesn't fall down in the middle of the night. I think it should, ooh, I just found some damage to it, it looks like somebody was raging and the wood is being eaten. Hold up a second, I didn't actually see this before. Let's see if... Oh yeah, that does not look good. Yeah, I uh, might be freaking out a little bit than thing because I'm currently looking at something. Okay, the screw just went right in there. Okay, hopefully that's not something bad. I can probably go to Home Depot and find something to fix that later. But that's gonna be for later. Unfortunately, I'm not a face streamer, so I'm not gonna go ahead and make that content going to Home Depot and doing that stuff. So, let's get on to it. We have, uh, we have humans, we have elves, we have <sighs> dwarfs and orcs. And so, for that, we'll have a D4. So, for, let's go for the humans. In what direction? North, east, west, or, I'm uh, sorry, north, east, west, or I am stupid. North, west, south, or east. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, for the humans, uh, one is north, two is south. The humans will be spawned south. That is gonna be one of these islands. So, the big chunky island or the kind of more diverse island right here. Hmm. Let's go ahead and just roll another d4 real quick. If I had odds, it's going to go ahead and be uh, the this island. If it got evens, it's going to be this one. And that's a 4. So I'm going to go ahead what is it? Hold shift to spawn multiple humans. And, and just to stay in the theme of 4. There. Let's 
split into four different groups. Up, oh, five different groups. I didn't see that coming, but it's having more than just one kingdom. It's not necessarily a good thing. Six. I'll click it four times, and if they spawn more than I'll click it five times for the other races, and if they spawn more than that, uh, then it's their own issue. Uh, my speed right now is going at one, so let's go ahead and go for the elves next. Uh, now that I that have uh, just a couple of directions, I'm going to uh, roll it again, but if I get a 3, I'll re-roll. Okay, so they're going to be spawned to the east. And although I could spawn them up here, it's, they're elves. I think that, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They make weird noises. Uh, yep, 5 would do. And for the dwarves and for the orcs, uh, that's a four. So let's go for the orcs first. That's another four. That's a one. So orcs get to spawn up north. Uh, one, two, three. Roll the four. If okay, one, two. Okay, so five times. One, two, three, four, five. And that means that dwarfs get to spawn over here. One, two, three, four, and five. Let me make sure that actually a couple of dwarfs got spawned in. Yep, there's a lot of dwarfs there. And just for the fun of it, uh, in this little island right here, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn it here in this little island. Okay, let's go ahead and edit this one. Do, 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 super health. Where's uh, Lucky? Double defense. Agile. Charismatic. Okay, it's getting good. It's getting good. Tough. Fast. Long liver, regeneration, and immortal. And with that, that we have super one over here, and let's go ahead and start this one. To we'll put, uh, we'll keep this one in mind for later. Let's go ahead and connect this. Give that a little bit of a bigger island. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and give some berry bushes so that it doesn't starve. And although they're immortal. Uh, I've seen them starve before, so I'm not going to go ahead and risk it. Is that even... Yeah, let's go ahead and go with some grass seeds. And let's go ahead and plant some berry bushes. Okay, you get a tree. It should be okay. Let's see how the other kingdoms are. <laughs> okay, the humans are off to a good start. I guess they have been a little bit here longer than the others. The orcs are getting themselves ready, and so are the elves. But here's where the whole sit back and enjoy the show kind of deal comes with this game. And that is just me sitting back and enjoying because there is almost no input that I have to do after this. Even the natural disasters itself are already uh, on a sort of timer by itself. You can see here in the Age of Hope. We actually have a couple of ages. We have Age of Hope, Age of the Sun, um, I believe Dark, Tears, Moon, uh, Despair, Ash, Ice, Wonders, and Chaos. And what those are basically is the Time of a Great Promise, uh, you know, Hope. I, can't, I think it's self-explanatory. The Sun, everything is bright and really, really dry. Darkness, completely dark, a lot of rain. Uh, I mean, just bear. I mean, it's, they're kind of self explanatory. Uh, if you want to go ahead and look this up, you can go ahead and do so. Otherwise, uh, you know, let's go ahead and keep enjoying the show. <laughs> I could also go ahead and blow a couple of people up if I go ahead and do something like this. <laughs> And dropping a nuke, uh, let me not drop multiple, it's also 
Oh, that wasn't a nuke. That was a... This is a nuke. Oh, I did make a giant blue hole, though. Eh, I don't like how it looks, but whatever. Okay, so, uh, we'll see how the worlds are growing. Let's go to max speed. Hold up. There's not a lot of subs to do here, actually. <laughs> Oh, I did put some beans to cook. Uh, okay, I hope that they're not burning. This is a, uh, I think I put it in the tag as well. This is very much of a chill stream, just seeing how the world works. Obviously we have humans down here, um, dwarves, uh, orcs and elves, although they look like the dwarves are cop blocking the humans from expansion. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit to see how they're doing. Well, the human settlements are doing okay. They have their own little kingdoms, and oh, somebody expanded over here. Oh no, it's just them. I don't know why they separated. Two pillars just right next to each other. That's not a smart move, but who am I to judge them? Okay, let's see how the elves are doing. They're still living in the tents. They seem to uh, start getting some wooden buildings up and running. I like the sound that they do. Oh, it looks like they also went ahead and founded their one of their cities across the ocean from their capital. I am very tired, by the way. I had the, the last week, and so it's been one of the uh, longest. I started streaming and everything, decided to go to shit. Uh, but I am bouncing up. I have a lot of work to do for school, but that's uh, neither here or there. I can finish it rather quickly. Although, by the way, uh, everybody who's watching, fuck the MLA format and fuck all that citation stuff. I do, and you know, I do know why it's important and why you should cite sources. But fuck, it's it annoying to do. <laughs> I don't like it. I would rather not. And let's see how the orcs are doing. These guys, by the way, uh, very strong, very, ad um, very, def uh, very good at the what they do. Really annoying when they win almost like uh, nine times out of ten when it comes to like these when it comes to world challenges. Actually, go ahead and comment that and comment that below. And you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and comment. If you're in chat, go ahead and uh, message. If you would like to see me doing some challenges, as in like you know, divide the world into a couple of islands, uh, you know, and hill, just anything that you would like me to see, what I can put these guys through. Uh, maybe I can even go ahead and nuke the hell out of it and use my finger to like make the uh, make a giant nuclear fallout of wasteland and see which one could thrive there the best. Go ahead and tell me to do so. And you know, if you want me to spawn any of these back down here, I may put in a gold, but uh, you know, just uh, any interaction is good interaction at this point. Yeah, I am starting out and it's really good to go ahead and have and people asking me and being there for like, yo, hey. Go ahead and do this, that, and whatever. I see I got one beer. Thank you for uh, being here, by the way. I should probably not say that. That it go ahead and announce me. Eh, not go ahead and announce me. But it's important to go ahead and tell people that you appreciate them being here. Which I do. I every, Any person that gets here, I will appreciate you being here. Oh no! How did you die? God damn it. Uh, well, my guy died. <sighs> but this is a really fucking big world. <laughs> uh, let's see, if I turn this off, uh, you can... Ooh, it looks weird. What age I'm in right now? Age of Wonder, that's why it looks kind of weirdish. There's a lot of plants. Let's go for the kingdom lair. We can see what the kingdoms are doing. There's a lot of kingdoms. Uh, by the end of the stream, there's probably not going to be that many. 
actually, what am I kidding? It's world bugs. They're gonna be a giant. There's gonna be a giant, massive kingdom. They're gonna go ahead and have stability for a little bit. They're gonna go ahead and have an aneurysm collapse and a bunch of king and it's gonna repeat that again, which is kind of fair. That happens with humans as well, and real world. I like the. Oh, there's an earthquake. A lot of their stuff got destroyed. The orcs are keeping it down right here, by the way. They have like a lot of the northern, northern area colonized at this point. Uh, under a single banner too, like under these guys, they managed to go ahead and grab this chunk. Like even if they lose the capital, they still have like that nice big chunk in the corner as well. Very good to defend there. But these up. Oh. <laughs> that shut me up. Uh, these elves are not doing that bad either. Okay, they're at war with somebody. Let's go ahead and see if they're... Let's go to the war list. No, nope. they just seem to be fighting random stuff down here. I wonder what they were fighting. Whoa, look at this big guy. Oh, he's on shrooms. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a... Don't... Um... Don't freak out or, or too much if I'm not talking at all. Well, not at all, but if I'm not talking as much as usual, it's just that a lot of it, uh, a lot of talking right now is not really. I mean, commentary in this game is kind of yeah, and spur of the moment, kind of reviewing what's going on and stuff like that. But this is just a game to chill out and just see how it goes. Maybe this is how actual like um, be, uh, higher beings look at us, just kind of chilling and looking at it like look there's a war going on here and I could stop this but I'm not going to okay let's see uh, war of the cro or the broken promise seems like somebody betrayed them uh, members of the kingdom of uh, fall out of earth and the arrows of Nia ready Lord of the Rings names let's go ahead and add the hit Imperium the Holy K the Holy Kyopo the Opas and the Holy War, as well as the Holy Akhek. A lot of holies in, uh, in Imperiums. Thor of Marine. This one actually is Great Nasal, a Great Eor, a lot of greats here. Gomor. There! Thank you, Rocks, uh, Rocky Salt. Thank you, Dwarves. They actually have some names that are not like a D or Great kind of deal. Gomor, there you go. Ba the Bad Panod. Uh, I guess that's the fuck was. See, this is what World Vlog is about. It about it's not necessarily about just um, uh, hyper intensive uh, gameplay and engage it and engage uh, engaging stuff. It's a lot of reaction of, to what's going on. You know, uh, suddenly something happens. I go ahead and say, "Oh my God, what happened here?" And go and check it out. And that's about how this World Box works. Hotkey, empty, power within control, plus five. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. I think I just I pressed a uh, five key to make sure my voice was not bad. Um, but yeah, this is just how this game is kind of is. Oh, and they've made a mistake right here, which is making too many cities because eventually one of them is gonna break apart. Well, I guess they didn't make too many cities. They just went ahead and had too many cities that they conquered. <sighs> Which I would say is kind of worst. Uh, not a worst. Uh, worst because of the fact that if you go ahead and make too many cities, eventually, uh, and conquer too many cities, you eventually go ahead and have the issue of, hey, um, the cities that you made are not exactly good. Well, not to me. They, you know, the populace gets angry. Everybody gets angry. You get their own, uh, You have to deal with that. It's just not good. Oh, I just remembered I have a new desk. So usually I put my leg up on my other on my other desk. I had this metal frame where I put my leg up to rest, and this one doesn't have that. So I'm now sitting in a weird position, but uh, it's okay. I actually like this desk better than the other one. So I'm not gonna mind too many. Uh, I'm not gonna mind the little details of it. Oh, they seem to be going to war. Who are they going to war? Okay, let's see. Oh, great clash of the air of Earth. 
Okay, and this one's war is uh, the Bloody War of Azorg. No alliances just yet. Plans and plots, none of them yet. And it looks like there's the only two that are having a war right now. I'm surprised that the humans have not declared war, and it was like the elves and the orcs who did it first. Oh! The arrows of Oshine. Okay, it looks like we had the first... Well, I'm not sure if it was the first one, because I haven't been paying too... Haven't played too close attention, but yeah, it looks like an Elba Kingdom has gone down and fallen. Right, it was a big one right here. I feel like I'm very monotone, because I'm actually kind of tired right now. Uh, if I am, I apologize. I'm just kind of tired. I am tired. I'm not sure if, you know, I get a lot of people are into the hyper streams, streamers, but eh, today's a chill day, dude. Let's go ahead and, it's anything goes, and what I wanted to go right now is chill out. You get hyper me when I'm playing, uh, well, I guess you get focus me when I'm playing uh, Shadow of War. I will get hyper a little bit too, but I am usually just a kind of chill person. Right now, currently leaning back of my chair, just watching everything going down. By the way, if my eyes start freaking out, uh, go ahead and tell me. I did have to move the light that I have back here, over there, to my to, within my back. So I don't. It's kind of darker here, to be fair. I'm not sure how that's uh, interfering with everything. So if you if my face is too dark at some points, go ahead and uh, tell me. And if I have to go to break eventually, I do, uh, when I go to break, I go ahead and, you know, use the restroom, get some stuff, uh, and just generally go ahead and do other, uh, some stuff real quick that I have to do between streams. I wish I could do longer streams, but unfortunately I don't have enough of an, uh, I was gonna say enough of an audience, uh, well, to be fair, yeah. But I also don't have en uh, enough time to do so, I have a lot of stuff to do. Maybe when my stuff gets a little bit lighter. If I get above the schedule when it comes to schoolwork, and if I don't have to deal with uh, legalese anymore, it is tax season, so a lot of that other stuff is, you know, it's annoying to deal with. So as soon as that's done, maybe I can go ahead and do longer streams. But, besides that, I... <sighs> I am sick. Jesus Christ, what's the, what John is that? Oh my god, what? What the hell happened? <laughs> the Conquest of Storm and the War of Fools. What the hell is going on? Okay, we have the orcs and we have the dwarves going to war with each, uh, with each other. So these... These ones are fighting... Who are they fighting? Oh my... Okay, so... These ones are fighting both this and this. Jesus. Okay, so they're... Kind of dead. Okay, we have more wars, let's see. We have the Clash of the Holy War, Conquest of Dreams, and the Horrible Clash. Uh, elf on Elf, Dwarf on Orc, and Human on... I believe Human? Yeah, Human on Human. Let me go to it actually real quick. Make sure that it is actually Human on Human. Where did the tornado appear? There it is. Okay, that's not good for them. <clears throat> I think I also know why I didn't drink any energy drinks today. Uh, usually I go ahead and drink any energy drink in the morning to keep myself up. And today I didn't drink it, so maybe that's one of the reasons I'm tired right now. Is it just me or everything go darker? Oh, we're in the Age of Hope? Maybe that's why the color, the color scheme changed. It looks like we just got into it. Okay, let's see the world loss real quick before I continue. Okay, world population. Where is it? I think it's world history. Yeah, it tells me everything that has happened in the world so far. 
A lot of kings dying, so I'm not really gonna care too much about just a random king dying. At one point I also wanted to try playing Solaris. Although I have over 200 mods in it, so I had to go ahead and either get used to not playing with mods, or make sure all the mods are up to date, I haven't played in a while as well, like maybe a, a few couple of months. So uh, it's updated since then, the reason I stopped playing is because my old playthrough got updated and it just got ruined. Uh, the stuff that I had progressed, all these, uh, all the other stuff that I did during that playthrough completely gone. So obviously when everything you work for gets destroyed, it brings you down and doesn't let you want to continue doing it. So that's one of the reasons I went ahead and not played uh, Stellaris in a while, so I don't know. Go ahead and comment down if you would be interested in watching me uh, watching me play Stellaris. Oh, have a little bottle of glass full of wood coins. That's nice. Let me go ahead and put that up there. I like this thing too. Uh, I'm also, I have to get a re I have to remind myself to go get a ruler, uh, measuring tape. Sorry. Uh, so go I can go ahead and measure this in here so I can make a double layered inside of the container and that way I can keep it uh, layered up. And it's essentially whenever, uh, you know, divide this little drawer thing into two so I can put more stuff in there. And maybe even get another one of these, like, metal things, too. I can go ahead and hang uh, my, the older shelf that... I, oh, they're falling apart. Let's go ahead and pause it real quick. And let's see where... What the... F <laughs> I look away from one second to describe my desk and this thing comes in. The holy keg. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the kingdoms list. By ranking, it looks like the Holy Cake just became one of the most powerful, having some of the most population, military, and territory. <sighs> Following right behind them seems to be the uh, Fauna of Earth, the Asurk being in third place, uh, Bad Napod, uh, the Bad Panod being fourth, and fifth being Thor Omeri, with an honorary member of the sixth with the uh, Ialona. And by the way, I say that because they're kind of small in comparison to all of this. Jesus. Okay. So let's see how this goes out because it looks like there are destroy the Ock are getting destroyed. Yeah, they're not surviving. <laughs> oh Jesus Jesus Christ. Yeah, no no no. Uh, it looks like these guys are down for. The Yellow Rebellion. Oh, isn't that something? When did China get here? Okay, that's what it is. Oh, Jesus, no. Okay, it looks like they're doing some sort of counter attack towards them. I heard it's a big territory, but. I guess that's it. I don't. There, I don't think there's any more buds. Uh, big territory, but I don't think it's gonna go ahead and survive it. It's what I wanted to say, but my brain decided to go der der der. <laughs> and it looks like these guys are losing their advantage that they had. The rebellion of the Glip. Oh god, they have an ugly flag though. Oh, whatever. If they're if they're strong enough to win, I'll change the flag probably, but probably not. There's just civil wars all over the rising of Ashel, kingdom of Ashel. Yeah, there's just rebellions everywhere, dude. It's a complete clusterfuck. I don't even. I cannot even tell which who is which at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and go for village view. Nope, that's still not good. Alliance is a little bit better. What alliances are there actually? The Holy League. Oh. <laughs> uh, isn't that topical? Our order. Let's see. 
probably why there is only one member here and like four members here. Probably should have stopped them before they got too big. They make funny noises. Oh fuck, I had thoughts. I believe that is everything for right now, here. <sighs> if anybody actually comes in to chat and wants to try to tell me what to do, uh, if I just spawn something in, like, oh, look, if I go ahead and spawn a meteor, boom. If they want to see what they what each one of these does, go ahead and add me, otherwise... I'll probably spawn in something every so often. Year 112. Okay, let's see. I uh, just, if anybody didn't see that. Or I could also go ahead and do the infinity coin. Wait, what thing was destroyed? Okay, the good. I thought that this thing was destroyed, and I was about to say, what was strong enough to destroy that? Uh, the Great Nassal, it looks like one of the rebels got enough of a following to make a kingdom. Kind of like the US. And it looks like my boys with that and blue down here are not gonna make it. Oh, this one's a knight in another single league. The A Cap of the Moon. Dude, I am not okay. I don't know why my brain decides to shut off sometimes and just watching this game, it just goes like, Durr. <laughs> I don't know. And my brain doesn't allow me to keep up. <clears throat> yeah, uh, my almost falling asleep there for a second. I don't know why. Maybe because it's not as simulating and doesn't keep, I have to keep my brain working like the other ones like Europa or anything else that I've done like I've been writing I've been talking my debut I was just talking around like this but since I was kind of nervous and had a couple of <laughs> bullet points that I had to go through it kept me engaged a little bit more but this one I am just falling dude I have stuff right here but I also don't want to keep like oh I'm entertained into doing something else while we just uh, you know while I'm supposed to be watching this uh, otherwise, I will be making myself a little bit of a hypocrite. But I think, uh, speaking of doing other stuff, I do believe that I do have to do something real quick. I need to go check on my food. I did start something cooking real quick, and I make sure that it's not burning. But don't worry, I'm not gonna switch to the ne uh, coming uh, be right back uh, screen because right now we are, you know, there's multiple wars going on. And by the time I come back in something completely different on the screen, you guys would have already seen it. So, I'll be right back, okay? Uh, like, see? I would have missed that the bonton is destroyed. And apparently a thing crashed. Let me go ahead and be right back. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and do a funny. And I'm gonna spawn... What should I spawn? I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a tumor. Not a tumor! I cannot do that impression of him. But yeah, you guys go ahead and watch the tumor grow. Oh, 
I actually got entertained by the tumor. Well, the tumor is done. I should probably spawn something else. Let's spawn the tumor here and let's see if it does anything. Oh, the noises are kind of gross. But yep, you guys watch the tumor. Uh, and that's, well, that's a village right next to it. Oh, it looks like they're gonna die again. Yeah. Let's see, is there any landmass that hasn't been colonized just yet that I can spawn a, anything like a tumor in? Like, even land like that, it's not good because they would... Yeah, and even like these ones, they have like actual strong units, so I'm not too sure about that. Although, let's see. They're at war with each other, so... Let me spawn, like, a couple of ice towers here. They did not last at all. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be, like, an early, uh, an early thing. I suppose to spawn these that early for the game. An evil wizard up here. Make me fight out the wizard. Well, if that's the case, I'm spotting a devil tower here. And I'm leaving some demons there. I'll leave you guys watching them while I go check out my food because I've been saying that I am going to go do that and I haven't done it yet. So maybe after the demons get strong enough, I'll go ahead and open up their. Uh, I'll go ahead and connect these two lands right here to make them. Storm into the elf territory. They are fucking the people up though. Jesus. It looks like 20 guards are landing there to try to fight them. Let's see how well they can do. Anyways, I'll be right back, dudes. Uh, go ahead and continue watching this. And be see you in a minute. My thing's gonna freak out, but that's fine. Oh my god, I cannot get out of here.
I'm back, and it looks like the demon tower was destroyed while well, I was gone. If you guys heard any noises in the background, it's probably my little brother. Sorry about that. Whew. That's a lot of noise. What? Uh, where are the Age of Chaos? Let's pause it real quick right here. And let's go back to Kingdom View. Alright, so that's how it's looking right now. Let's see the Kingdoms West. Hmm. That's a nice view. The dwarves are finally actually in the first place of something. Usually they fall apart at this point. Uh, it looks like the humans are also doing rather well for themselves. And the elves have found their way into the last place when it comes to the race, uh, with the races. I mean, yeah, they kind of look not as good as the other ones. They're also fighting a war with these guys. And these guys are fighting a war with themselves. Isn't it funny when a rebellion has a rebellion? Because if you fight the rebellion, if you are a rebellion, and then you fight, uh, and you found it yourself by rebellion, and then part of you rebels, it makes you a hypocrite to fight the rebellion. Kind of like rebellion squared. <laughs> but it's whatever. Let's continue, shall we? Holy shit. I picked up my phone for a second to check on, uh, to turn the volume down on it and, and check on something real quick. And next thing I know, everything is going to shit. 
Okay, who's fighting? Everybody's fighting everybody, apparently. Oh, it looks like the setting war of Basmata. Yeah, the humans and the dwarves are fighting the orcs alliance right now, which is a major war. I'm not intervening. The age of chaos makes people fight, so I'm not gonna intervene. And let's see what happens in this age, uh, in this era. We've been here for 190 years, by the way. So take that. Uh, we've also been max speed, so take that into account uh, as to how things are going. But yeah, everything's going to help. <laughs> Found fell. I like this. I really like this dusk. I'll be honest with you. Even even if it's more or less, uh, kind of like that, you know, the cheap like, uh, what is it called? The I shave the wood and like plaster it together, and to make a dusk and then paint it over it. That's kind of like what this thing is made out of. But you know, it's still nice-ish looking. Nice enough for me to like it anyways. Uh, I can lean down in my chair and I'm actually resting my foot now. Not my foot, but my, my, my arm and my foot now. But Yeah, my, uh, my new desk stream, I guess. Something else crushed. But yeah, there's not a lot of commentary. I could probably tell stories, but I know those get repetitive after a while. I like how I like how I am now in like in like you know uh, nothing fancy public uh, public universe uh, you know community college and stuff like that. Uh, reason for that is just I mean I can take it at my own pace and I don't have to pay like uh, what is it a hundred thousand dollars for tuition and shit like that. The, every other college apparently here wants you to pay, even though they don't actually need that much money, since the government is giving them money anyways. But that's... that's besides the point. <clears throat> what I do like is the... there was this college that I'm not gonna ma name for reasons, that whenever I was applying for it, uh, the other ones actually gave me an, uh, you know, an answer and told me like, oh, this is gonna be this much for to go here. Uh, which, you know, don't expect a, uh, not, not a degree, what is it called? Um, I forgot what the fuck it's called. Jesus Christ, my brain's bugging out. Scholarship, thank you. Uh, don't expect a scholarship for every single place that you apply to. Some places just don't have what you need, or it's not enough for what you need. So, uh, this one did not even, uh, you know, I wasn't extending a scholarship. And a lot of them didn't give me a scholarship or anything. They just went ahead and gave me a price tag. And that's the reason I said no to a lot of them. Uh, but one of the things that I do remember is this college didn't even give me a price tag. It just told me, like, nope, we're not interested and you're not going there. Uh, kind of deal. Which, you know, I didn't think it stunk that much because it wasn't the only one that did that. Um, be but later on, like, it's been years now since that happened and now whenever i i've seen you know news of them being like kind of like uh we're kind of uh, they're kind of like one of those schools uh obviously not harvard they i'm not gonna go to fucking harvard uh to be fair though it doesn't look like a lot of people in harvard are thinking anyways nowadays but yeah essentially this college was just like uh 
not college, this university that I was applying to was like, hey, um, and for uh, over the for last few months, like, hey, we would love for you to apply here again, and I'm like, what the fuck, so you can reject me again? Like, now it actually went ahead and stung a little bit, because uh, first off, I went ahead and applied there, they told me to fuck off, and now I have already fucked off, and I'm doing my other thing, and now they're like, hey, you wanna apply here? And I'm just like, no. Not sure why they want me to apply there now. Oh, they rebuilt. Yeah, but that's just how I am right now. Sorry, not how I am, where I am right now. The college just went ahead and rejected me, now they want me to apply again. I just kind of find it funny. And stupid. The dwarves seem to be doing good though. They've have been consistent for the end agreements. These two have been consistent for a long time. Although they do, they should do something about their rebellious neighbors. These guys have been at war for how long? Started date. Oh, sorry, dates. One hundred ninety. Hold up, what year are we in? Jesus Christ. They've been fighting for a while now. I, I speaking of fighting and worse, I'm actually quite a, um, getting a little bit excited to be doing Thursday streams again. Uh, not again during the Thursday stream when I, uh, this time when I'm working you for, and actually doing my whole punk uh, thing. I think that EU4 uh, that stream actually went ahead and got me the most views, uh, both on YouTube and Twitch, which I find it kind of um, fun. That and I'm actually enjoying. Uh, I'm glad that people enjoyed the game as much as I do. Uh, I did. I am starting to enjoy it again. And with that being said, I'm actually kind of excited to go ahead and play it again. Uh, tomorrow's gonna be D and D stuff. I will probably not be opening up browsers, uh, another a browser again. And this time, just most likely than not, just uh, going ahead and editing some maps. Uh, and Dungeon Painter is probably what I'm gonna be doing. Or just messing around in Dungeon Painter and see what I can go ahead and uh, manage to get up to. Uh, but yeah, Dungeon Painter, they went ahead and updated it a little bit. They have this new mode. I like it. It seems like it has a lot of potential. It's just not mod friendly and a lot of the stuff that is based is not ex uh, based thing. With the base programming is not exactly what I'm looking for. So when I'm making the, like you know sci-fi settings and other kind of settings so I like the thing don't get me wrong but I wish that it would be better but it's also not their fault it's the mod uh, creators have to get on that but they you know so a lot of the other mods say uh, creators don't actually have a um, thing in mind to where it comes to like hey we're gonna go ahead and update it do all these features oh. a lot of the assets are just textures then uh, to be played uh, copied and pasted to it and not actually uh, to be updated like, alongside the other the other thing so I do get why the treat of fancy in the whole league okay um, so I get why it is like that and I just wish it wasn't give me one second I don't know what's wrong with this shirt <clears throat> But I don't like it right now. I'm gonna grab up on these ones I have here. Make sure that I am not showing anything on stream. Select the game or window to monitor stream while you're live. I mean, I have it here. I can actually see myself. Oh, oh. I can actually see myself right now on this on Twitch Studio while I'm playing the game. Uh, I do also have the overlay right here so I can tell that I'm live as well as the fact that, you know, the volume is good. Uh, the, the game's actually, you know, the Twitch studio is actually capturing the game's audio this time. And, you know, how many viewers I have. That chat actually goes ahead and pops up in the corner. I It's in this corner right here. Although, I'm pretty sure that you cannot go ahead and see that. <clears throat> Uh, you can see the messages from the other thing, as in like, oh no, thoughts of them existing in a box that the oh god damn it. Oh well, I'm not really into, I'm not caring too much about any of these civilizations. They can go and go, come and go as they please. 
But it's entertaining to see how it ends up, actually. Kingdom of S Brothers declared war on the Grain Leolora. Elona. <clears throat> okay, I like this shirt better. I am wearing uh I'm wearing a more comfortable shirt, that's what I'll say right now. The other one was kind of like uh, the uh, choking me out a little bit there. But, yeah. Did the color change? A little bit. Huh. wonder what that's about. Oh, well. Uh, the orcs have broken apart. The, uh, the dwarves seem to be doing rather well. And the humans, although kind of like bunkered out in their own corner seems to be doing okay-ish. Let me actually go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit to see how they're doing. And who are they? Dwarfs of the Chabi. Not the, of the Chabi, just the Chabi guy. Who is fighting who? You're fighting the kingdom of Fi... Weevee. I'm guessing it's a rebellion. Yep. This place right here keeps getting hit with shit. I think it's a different color because it's a different, like, we're in the Age of the Sun, I think. Yep. Although we are about to go to the Age of the Moon, I think. Hmm. If I remember correctly, I can go ahead and do this. Where... where is it? Not the permafrost. Here it is. And if I am remembering correctly, I can go ahead and be like... <sighs> Although, since we're in the age of the sun, it melts really quickly. They just freeze to do it like it's no problem. <laughs> Bloody clash has ended. I like this game. I'll probably go ahead and mod it later on whenever I can. Because after a while, you you know, you get used to it. Yeah, you, you know, you've seen a civilization uh, or two or three or a dozen rise once. You've seen them all the time. Uh, especially with this much. There's this mod I've seen that actually made them have like skyscrapers in modern buildings, which I actually like the look of it a lot. I should probably also take a shower uh, today. Uh, not right now, obviously, but later. Probably after stream ends, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some cleaning and then take a shower. There's not a lot of me to say right now. This is just me looking at stuff real quick. And since there's not a lot of tra uh, chat to interact with, uh, there is not a lot of... Oh, there you go, Stage of the Moon. I do like how it looks like this, though. Ah, uh, but... <laughs> as soon as the lights went down, so did my other thing. Let me go ahead and... Uh, that's one of the reasons why the light's not shining good. It's was facing that the other direction entirely. And it's really wobbly. You can probably hear how my light is real quick. Let me see if I can... so wobbly well at the very least it looks like the light is finally shining where it's supposed to and since it's actually now behind me it doesn't blind me it doesn't gonna go out. it's not gonna give me retinal dam retinal damage so that's also very nice I like this look though the whole like dark uh, the whole dark uh, nightlight look that they're going for, that this is going for right now like you can see the night right there. That's a... Yeah. What the fuck was that haircut with the uh, two buns? I don't remember what it's called. The Chun-Li hair for you. Yeah. It looks like they're getting killed. Ah, uh, they're orcs. Uh, are the orcs killing them or... I will say this. Uh, this game is rather good to like turn off your brain and like stare at. But doing commentary with this game on, it's not good. It's like enough, uh, uh, engaging enough for you to go ahead and, um, uh, you know, keep you entertained, but not engaging enough for you to commentate on a lot of the stuff going on. 
a leaving you in this like kind of state where you just like keep staring at something and not actually talking or saying a lot of stuff about it oh no oh god insane a couple of people here did but I think they killed them uh, let's see what wars are going on actually Red Clash of Serdu, which is just uh, whoa. The elves are in alliance with the, the with the orcs. That's actually yeah, the Holy League. Jesus Christ, that's not a good sign. It's gonna be a fight between these uh, between this side of the world and this side now. Huh? As soon as these guys die, anyways. Uh, we both has abandoned the Holy Kills. Yeah. What the hell happened to him? I guess he just kind of sees all this as the last hope and just decided to do a banter thing. What's. Oh god, the War of Iron and the Yellow Rebellion. Another Yellow Rebellion? What the fuck? The Poppy Empire. Oh my! Oh God! Is it this? I was gonna. I say Poppy Empire like that because it sounded like Poppy, but Jesus Christ! That's a, actually. When did this go to Deadland? I remember it was all just green, and I was just dead. Holy a keg. It seems that the dwarves are actually going in and helping. But any luck, the poppy are gonna be dealt with. But you also have to look out for that, <laughs> otherwise, your empire will fall before you even start. It's a lot of territory for the a keg, though. But yeah, it usually goes in a scene ruler kind of effect. As soon as you get one territory, you're gonna guarantee a lot of the other ones. Uh, because the soldiers of that territory just took over go under you immediately so you know once you start falling for one territory you fall for basically all of them unless you have a big ally to help you out but yeah it looks like that war was oh all the wars I guess they kind of stopped the war because of the rebellion I could also just go ahead and make them declare war on these guys and they can take that back that center territory but no, I'm not going to. I'm gonna let it roll down. And naturally, it's really impossible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm tired. I don't know how many times I've said that right now, but yeah. If I fall asleep, would that give me more or less fears? <laughs> That's funny to think about. Let me go ahead and give you the full view of the world. Hmm. Well, this is as much as a full view of the world that you're gonna get, I guess. Ended. I guess one kingdom was destroyed. Oh, good, they're rebelling again. This time under a red banner. Let's see what they're called. No fail. I don't like that fucking flag with the whole like two squares one color, one square the other, uh, two squares the other color. I just don't like that flag design of this game at least. Like the simple background ones or the ones with the rims uh, that look kind of fancy. 
and just a logo in the, in the center. That's simple, that's nice. I like those. But not those other things that I've seen so far. Like, let's see if I can. Like this one. Nice back, solid uh, solid dark green. A dark green, a even darker green uh, rim. And a nice, like, lighter, light green hammer at the, big, at the, at the center. It's kind of simple and just nice. Check if I can let this off. Dude, I am fading fast. I am not sure what's going on with me. But I am gonna stick it through. I promised a three hour stream, I'm delivering a three hour stream. Let's see. And if I am correct, I have been streaming like for an hour and uh, for like about an hour and 30 minutes, right? Yep, just about. Uh, 10 minutes is short. Hold up, I just realized why I haven't been able to hear anything. My fucking headphones are on the ground. Okay, that's good. You know what, I've been silent for a little while, let's go ahead and try getting some small talk here and there. Uh, so yeah, I went ahead and get, like, uh, actually, let's go ahead and talk about the desk a little bit more. I went ahead and actually found the desk when I, when I came back from work. I was went to throw away some garbage, uh, since nobody else in my family seems to be able to do so. And as I was going there, I saw this, like, not in the dumpster, but like a couple, uh, little bit right next to it. What? Usually the people that are moving and like are leaving shit behind, they instead of like you know they chopping it up or like just destroying it completely and throwing it in the dumpster, they leave it not uh, not inside or like beside it, but like behind the dumpster where there's like this brick kind of like wall surrounding it and with one metal entrance so that the garbage guys can come in and pick it up. But behind where the brick is is where this where this was at. And I found it, and I found that this missing one piece, and it's the, I mean, I think, I'm not sure if you can hear it, because I do, oh, god damn, because I do have, like, a noise gate, but I have this place where the keyboard and the mouse are supposed to go, uh, that are not there because of the fact that it's missing, so that's one of the reasons why I am not, don't have it there, it's just that it's missing, and I think it, it was this black thing that it came with, but not only is it too short, but where it looks like they try to put the wheels in, uh, it just went ahead and like, um, I would, what is it? Not ate away, but just kind of like got scraped to the point that it's not working anymore. So, yeah, I don't think that there's going to be valuable to use this, uh, use this thing as anything else. So instead of having my computer rest on my carpet now, I have it resting on that wooden thing so that the air flow is actually better. So that's a nice thing. 
that I got from this is just that my computer is now elevated so that I cannot go ahead and to be worried about the airflow kind of deal. It goes kamikaze attack. I, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said that. I just went during uh, the boo bits. I loved Team 4 Star. I remember watching them first when I was in high school, like probably a lot of other people. But yeah, I do miss. I will. I will not. I will go ahead and admit that I do miss Team Four Star and their creation. But I get it. You get bored of something, especially after doing it for like 15 years. I think that I would also get bored about doing something, even if I loved doing it at the beginning. And especially going back and watching some of my other older stuff was. What is it? Somebody said that your brain changes every like 10 to 5 years or something like that. So obviously changed, even if it only changes once, it's still one time that changed plus uh, half of the way there to the other one. So maybe they don't like w doing what they used to do back in the day and maybe they go, uh, well what am I saying, they said it before, they love Dragon Ball, They've, oh, they will probably always love it and they like doing content but it's just not that content that they love doing anymore despite the millions upon millions of views that they got. And the fact that it was really good, I'll be honest with you, but it can be taxing, especially after, you know, peaking with, uh, peaking, uh, with something. They, I think they saw the way that Toriyama's getting, uh, racked, uh, you know, ragdolled and basically the whole keeping the horse on the track, not because, uh, it can run still, but because it gets the people hyped up kind of deal. Toriyama is basically that dead horse that they keep. Uh, now it's no longer running. Uh, I think it's running again. It looks like Dama. It's something that he is actually passionate about. But when it comes to Super and stuff like that, he definitely... I wouldn't say he wasn't trying. But it's definitely a difference between his older country, uh, older content and right now. It didn't, or maybe it's just me watching it with rose tinted glasses. It didn't hit as hard as it used to. And yeah, the whole kid thing, uh, the cheapy thing, I, I don't like it either, but uh, let's see where it goes. Maybe maybe I'll, we'll be surprised. I'm not gonna prob I'm probably not gonna watch it uh, either way, though. I'm gonna go ahead and let it to some, like, um, reviewer with a beanie, and or maybe not even a beanie, just like, uh, kind of like, tired looking. It goes ahead and reviews it, and then I'll go ahead and see, because they're gonna be the hardest, cri the hardest critics. Uh, but if they like it, then it's gonna be good. Even if they don't like it, uh, if they go ahead and say it's mid, it's probably good. If they don't like it, it's usually, eh. But I don't know. I don't have enough time. I have barely have enough time to stream, and do my other stuff. So I'm not gonna probably. I'm not gonna have time to go ahead and look at Dragon Ball Dama. I did, didn't even watch Super. I watched a little bit of it. And, but no, I think the last thing I've actually watched of episode by episode thing was back in the Boo Saga. And that's about it. I think I watched Kai just like the first few episodes and then though didn't continue. I remember Janemba, I remember uh, Shenron and Baby. I remember them, but I don't remember anything else. Dark Shenron, by the way, and Nova. And I forgot the Ice One's name. I will say Janemba does look, it's the concept of Janemba and the look of it is really good. They should probably, uh, Janemba and Cooler, they just need to add them in the game, they just need to add them in the show at this point. Good villains that were never uh, able to actually show up. Which is fine, but, I mean, they're, they're really popular and people actually want them. I mean, you know, garlic was nostalgic. <laughs> Not garlic. Uh, pilaf was nostalgic, but I don't think a lot of people were, like, uh, jumping at the bit and being cheerful every single time they were at the screen. Not only that, but, like, it's... For some reason, they... Uh, when I, That's why I say that they probably gave up. It's because they just went ahead and took out some uh, characters from back in the day, and they were like, oh, hey, look... Uh, remember this guy? A lot of people uh, kind of started watching a C, so they're probably not going to remember this guy, but remember this guy kind of deal? Uh, they went ahead and made them younger, which seems to be something Chariyama likes doing for some reason. And not only... I mean, it made a little bit more sense for them, but it still was... Eh, but the, it, the thing that peeved me about that, that 
wasn't them getting younger, wasn't them being back any either. It was just the fact that uh, the other characters and even like especially Bulma was just like, oh, I never met these people before and didn't have any opinions or comments on them. Uh, they was kind of like they just existed there and just because I didn't like that. Like, if they had a reaction, like, Bulma was like, oh, hey, I remember you, or even if it was like, mm, you look familiar kind of deal, I would have been okay, more okay with it. From what I heard, and from what I've seen, it just was like, oh, they're assistants now, and uh, I don't remember them kind of deal, even though they've kidnapped me, and it was like the first villains that we fought. So, yeah, I do miss, I do think that it was an opportunity missed, at the very least, to have that interaction. And it's, they, it's not like they just were there for a little bit of a gag. Like, well, they kind of were, but they were there for so goddamn long. Even like they, they had more screen time than Tien, uh, Krillin, and Chamcha. So yeah, if they're gonna have more screen time, at the very least, make it like you know, like oh hey, interactions. It's not just like oh, um, slapstick, blah blah. But who knows? I'm not the guy running a multi-million dollar uh, thing, and I had the multi-million dollar company that apparently has excuses for not uh, doing uh, good content is I have certain parts. <laughs> if you know, you know. I didn't know that was an excuse. Oh, they lost territory here to, I think, the elves and... Who the fuck are you guys? More dwarves, I think? Yeah. They lost territory to dwarves, elves, and... Who else knows what? The Holy League is getting really fucking big. And it looks like the dwarves lost their uh, number one ally when the humans here died. I think they are completely gone though. Yeah. They're done. Remember how many kingdoms there were at the beginning? Like, they were like literally, like, I had to scroll down multiple times to get all of them. And now it's like, what, like a couple? Like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kinda cool. And how many years did that take? I think it was like. We're at three year three hundred, right? Yep, three hundred and fifty and forty, almost fifty. It took three hundred and fifty years to go from multiple nations to just like big eight. Uh, those I will say also now if now that I'm trying to think about more commentary, uh, one of the uh, things that I'd like to do about Solaris is modding the hell out of it. But I cannot believe Generally, that the two major things, like, you know, there's a Star Wars mod, there's a Unicron mod, there's a Star Trek mod, but one of the mods that I was assuming that there's going to be something about, but I, there is none, it's a uh, Dragon Ball mod. There is no Dragon Ball mod for Stellaris, which I think is really fucking missed. Even if it's just like a ship set, a ship sh set, or just like the races set. I would like that, but there's just nothing. Even it just events, like having the Dragon Balls as an item a, in a planet would be amazing as a, uh, for them. And even if it's just like simple wishes, like Xenoverse kind of deal, like I wish for X amount of resources or X amount of ships or X amount of population, it would be nice. But yeah, I don't know why that's not it. And look, I'm getting called again. Thank you.
Okay, so that imp call was actually a little bit important, but now the volume comes completely down, and I don't care who calls me now. I actually went ahead and sent up a couple of text messages telling people not to call me, and the, or and the doors fell. Uh, wish I was here for that. Thank you very much for the people. Useless, goddamn idiots. Whoever called, I'm not gonna say who called me, but I really do not like the fact that they interrupted me. It was an important call, but I still don't like the fact that they interrupted me. Okay, so is there any actual Dwarven Stronghold seats? They left still. I don't think... Th yeah, the Holy Cube was... No, that's human. Yeah, oh, the Dwarves are gone. There's one Elf and a bunch of human and Orcs, but there's no more Dwarves. The Dwarves are all dead. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a little bit more dwarves here to see if they can catch up. They're literally gonna be like cavemen, but I don't think they're gonna catch up. But, you know, it's still funny. Dean. Trying to catch him. There's a war going on. Oh, Rebellion. God, I hate Rebellions. Looks like the... The Elves, I think, had kept have kept their territory together for the longest... Oh, there's a dragon! Let me spawn this one in. Enchanted. Okay, there, 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 the ground is shaking. You yeah, had destroyed a shit ton of your land. And who are these guys? Just chilling in the corner of the world. 23rd birthday, happy birthday. Uh, the itch bunny. Are they part of any? Yeah, they have like a territory all the way across here and all the way across there. Jesus. Okay, give me one second, please. Okay, sorry about that. I was having a little bit of an issue with somebody making uh, stupid noises. Yeah, and these ones are just like chilling in their island right here too. Uh, nobody wants to live in the swamp. I mean, I guess that's fair. Unless they have prices like Florida, I don't think anybody wants to live in the swampy area either. And I heard another explosion. What the fuck was that? I don't even remember what I was talking about. I was talking about something and then I got interrupted with a fucking stupid ass phone call. Like, okay, I will tell you this much. Like, okay, I get it. People call, yeah, you know, call you at times, and I, you know, sometimes you need to go ahead and answer that stuff. But I literally spent wake. Uh, woke. I woke up like around six a.m. So from six a.m. all the way to right now. So like, all um, uh, like from six to six, so like twelve hours, nothing. Not a single phone call. No, no, I got two phone calls, and they were both scammers, and that was, like, early in the morning. Uh, I be and one... No, 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 I... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One was right now, and the other one was, like, a couple of minutes in stream. So, no, only one phone call throughout the day, and as soon as I start streaming, I get, like, back to back to back. So, I turn off the volume. I hope to God that I don't have to look at my phone right now throughout the rest of the stream. And anybody who wants to call me right now can go fuck themselves. I'm not answering. Yeah, I don't like that shit. Like, if it's important enough, you're gonna go. Uh, it's important enough you're texting me if I don't answer. And if you spam call me, that's even less of a reason for me to answer you now. Might be important. Too bad. I'm not caring. You leave a text message like a normal person. I wonder if I cut these. 
the fuck was that? Was it they there? I mean, look at the dwarven uh, cities and all the other abandoned areas. Well, that's an elven, and I think that's human. The humans are falling apart, like, no. Come on, they were supposed to be my guys. Yeah, the P is like 200 years old. These guys are like the new guys in town, but yeah, they're not. They're losing, but they're not going quietly. And yeah, these guys are almost 400 years old. And so are these guys over here. I think the humans were the first ones here, but they're also. I don't think there's a single one of their settlements that has survived from the beginning, unlike you know, like the orcs and the elves. What's the king doing right now? Me, bitch. You like at the castle? What the hell is he? Can't move right now, so he's stationary wherever he is. Oh, there he is. What the fuck is this? Oh, he has a slow trade, that's why he's moving so slow. It's not explanatory, but you know. I like how you build- imagine building a wooden house right next to a fire pit. That's stupid. But yeah, it isn't anything ghost stream. I thought this was gonna be- it is an entertaining game still, but I do find that, that it's not a good uh, commentary game. I think I could, if I had more things to, you know, people to interact with and they talk in the background, this game in the background would be good. But solo streaming this game, uh, I don't think it's that good. <sighs> As I was saying, I also remember I found a bag of uh, parts in the uh, when the, when I went ahead and got this. And I found a lot of screws and other stuff in there, and I just realized as I was looking at the bag, and after screwing up, uh, screwing in the thing. But since I was pressed for time and wanted to go ahead and go live as soon as possible, I re didn't. I failed to re realize the fact that hey, that bag of screws that you found, it actually goes. Uh, you know, there's a metal part there, and that you can connect this and this together. And I just went ahead and plugged it in as uh, however I could, and without realizing the fact that I could just go ahead and screw it in together. <clears throat> so, yep, I could have just went ahead and screwed that in together with this thing, but instead I went ahead and did it this way, which is still holding up, don't get me wrong, but I probably should have gone ahead and used that back, but I think it's kind of like a metal square center thing, so I believe that if I had done that it would be kind of like wobbly, which is probably one of the reasons they threw it away, uh, but yeah, I, I'm pretty, I'm okay with this. I think I'm okay with this and the way I did it is also not necessarily bad it's two metal pieces together at the, at the different edges I'll probably go ahead and screw the other one in just in case in the, in the center and you have a better holding anyways but yeah I did find it a little bit funny that I went ahead and did it and then realized the fact that hey those parts actually go with the table and you're kind of a moron for not realizing that immediately, but or I didn't I didn't realize it immediately. I'll be honest with you. I just forgot about it until I saw them again. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I go ahead and when I'm in a rush, I go ahead and go stupid. Mega stupid. What the fuck was that noise? Oh. Oh god. No 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 no. Don't. Stop falling. It looks like, yeah, the other orcs fell. Let's see, what alliance is there? Turtle of, the turtle sword. It's 17 years old, there's a lot of members in it. And it looks to be all the human kingdoms. 
well, almost all the human kingdoms, with the exception of the Ishban Ishnabi. Oh, how the hell do you say that name? Ishna. Uh, Ishanev? Ishanev? The Novo? And the Yelp. Yelp? However the hell you say that name. There actually is, seems to be going a war right now, and it's between the mad rising of this, of right here, with the members being the kingdom of this and these ones. Hopefully they can put them down. Oh, it looks to be... Yeah, they're gonna put this one down. I'm not sure about this one, though. Uh... They don't have a high, uh, massively big population, but they are kind of surrounded by water. I would see it like instead of it just being one person individually, it's like um, other than the king and the commanders, uh, they're basically like um, representatives. So it's like a hundred people, but or like a thousand people if you wanted to. And each city is like a town or like city, with obviously this one being the capital. That's... <laughs> God damn nuts. Fucking hate nuts. I don't even know where they're coming from. I fucking hate the fact that they're here. So. I tried doing my other trap that I did a long time ago, but I'm not sure if it's the water or I don't think it's the water. I don't think it's the dish soap or the sugar. But for some reason, when I put the vinegar in it, the apple cider thing, uh, it just becomes clear and chunk up instead of doing the you know instead of staying like the nice brown that it used to be, and doesn't trap gnats anymore. It just kind of sits there and doesn't attract them as much. Like I even you know I remember to shake it up before pouring it and stuff like that. I don't know what's going on. and But it's not catching them and that's making me sad. Do you guys hear... Jesus Christ, those kids. I don't... I hate, I hate a lot of things. I'll be honest with you guys. Them specifically are probably in the top of the list. Like, I cannot even tell if they're actually getting killed or if they're just being... Re and they're just being stupid. <laughs> kind of sounds like that. Yeah, <laughs> like the noise that it's doing right now, but I don't know why it's... Uh, why they're yelling a lot. Another fucking wall. <laughs> Hopefully they kill him. I'm not gonna interfere though. And it looks like the elves just lost. Oh holy, holy shit, hold up a second. I wasn't paying attention. What the fuck happened to the elves? I think I cut myself with a uh, plastic uh, uh, coin holder and then I look again and the elves are gone. What? A pumpkin appeared at one point, apparently. <laughs> yeah, the elves are gone. Who are the strongest nations, actually? And the top two nations are orcs. The three of the top five nations are orcs. And only two human nations are there. A human nation with a nice army to actually uh, fight off the orcs. Uh, and an age to go ahead and cement them as being one of the people here for the longest time. But with the elves gone, I think the orcs are actually technically currently in the lead. Oh, well, I mean not technically, they are in the lead. See if the other humans can fix that though. Uh, so right now they are in an alliance. They are in an alliance with each other. So that's good for them. I'm not sure how long that alliance can last though. Usually 
human alliances don't last that long anyways. So here's hoping that they actually last, but I'm not expecting them to. Oh, it became the Age of Ice, apparently. That's rather nice. Did I just make a fucking pun? Oh my god. No, I didn't mean to make a pun. I just... <laughs> I hate that. I think I might have been hanging around with Mariana too much. Fucking pun queen right there. Influencing my shit. I'm currently moving a charger that I have uh, right here, over uh, down here, so that I can go ahead and charge up my phone while I'm on my desk, because I have one of the special, not the special outlets, but an extension thing that I use to go ahead and connect multiple things here. And one of the things that it lets me connect is at the very bottom it has stuff for USBs. I don't plug in my main phone here because the charger that I use for this is very strong and it's very chunky so it will not fit here. But one of the things that I can go ahead and plug in here is a regular phone as well as my headphones which I usually use here. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and give me just one second while I go under my table. <laughs> Put my headphones over here like this. And, oh god. I'm out of shape. <laughs> okay, on my table. And it's plugged. Jesus Christ. Hold up, everybody. I heard a slam. And I'm gonna go ahead and check what that is. So, uh, that loud, loud slime that I heard was actually some of the children outside playing and kicking a ball around. And it looks like they broke uh, not only the exit sign in my side of, inside of my apartment building um, hallway, but they also seem to have uh, damaged some shit. So yeah, I was thinking about streaming Paul World right today. Uh, I probably would have done better doing that now that I think about it. But, I don't know, I didn't, I felt really tired today and I didn't feel like doing much, so right now what we're doing is, well what we did was uh, World Box, however, um, even though it does say that I will, I will go ahead and stream you know, all the way till 8 today, uh, with the kids doing all that shit, I have to go ahead and now check on my car, because I seen, I saw a car outside without their... With a recently broken rear view meter, so I need to go ahead and check out that and make sure that everything is fine there. And also, I think we've milked all that we could from uh, World Box for today. It's nice to see, but to go ahead and uh, chill out. 
But as until I had more people than just myself, I will probably not go ahead and do this. And if I start streaming something else, I do have other stuff to do after 8. And that would be just like not even an hour of stream. So, I'll probably change it up. Uh, if anybody in the comments, uh, or and, and I'm going to go ahead and try putting it on Twitch and YouTube and, and stuff like that. But if anybody make it this far, if you would rather me do Power World than some D and D related tomorrow, go ahead and add and go ahead and tell me you know Power World, Power World, Power World. I'll go ahead and try streaming that. Otherwise, thanks everybody for joining in today, and I hope you got a good one. Uh, see you guys next stream, uh, which will be tomorrow at the same time. I will actually go ahead and get a little bit of an energy drink and better sleep on myself, so I can stream the entire three uh, the entire three hours. I'll be honest, I'm not sure why I'm tired right now. I actually did sleep well enough tomorrow yesterday, and I guess it's just been a lot of stuff that I had to do uh, over the past few days, which is why I'm it's been taxing on me. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and save this world real quick, actually, before I go ahead and close this off with us today. And we'll save it on number thirteen. Um, we'll call this Ferganos. Ferganus, I guess, would be work as well. Fuck off, sheep. And stream world. It's a description. And we'll save here. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I will go ahead and uh, see if you guys want me to stream Power World tomorrow. If you want me to do so, I will go ahead and stream Power World instead of D&D. Uh, stuff which I mean it's D&D stuff is fun and all but it's mostly gonna be me doing the stuff for D&D so see you guys later